Hi, this is Nicole Hetty from Paper Tray Ink, and today I'm going to tell you a little bit about our new die, um, the Tissue Paper Favors Number One die. Um, I'm really excited about this. It's a really um, cool way to make customized favors for all of your get-togethers and parties for just a few pennies, and coordinate with your with your decor and everything. Um, a lot of fun to work with. First, I wanted to show you a bit about cutting the tissue paper to prepare it to use it with the die. Um, here I have a sheet of tissue paper, and your goal is to have two um, 11 inch squares of tissue paper. And I think it's easier to work with the tissue paper if it's folded in two quarters. So, right here, I already have it um, folded in half from the way that it came in the package. And I'm just going to go ahead and fold it over again. So we essentially have four layers of the tissue paper here. Two layers and then the two layers with the center point over here. I'm going to go ahead and just stick this right into my paper trimmer. And since half of 11 is five and a half, I'm going to go ahead and cut this at five and a half. Make sure everything's lined up here. And then I'm going to turn this and cut the other side at five and a half. So when I unfold that, you'll see I have an 11 inch square of tissue paper. Um, a lot of times um, from the tissue paper being in the package, it has some creases and folds in it. And I would recommend just quickly running an iron over this. Um, it doesn't have to be a very high heat, but it helps the end result of the favor be a bit more clean and crisp if you get rid of some of those creases. Now when working with this die, I just wanted to show you a little something. There's only a cutting blade on this decorative edge right here. The rest of it is just a base for you to use as a guide. You're going to want to line the center points of your squares up with the corner right here. So I want to find, I've got both of my squares here freshly pressed, and I want to find my center point, which is right here. So I'm going to line that up, and the other square, my center point is right here, and I'm line that up. Since the tissue paper is so thin, you can go ahead and cut um, both of these with the die at the same time. So I'm going to go run through these, run these through my die cutting machine real quick. Okay, so I've just run these through my machine, and. I'm going to remove those from the die, and I'm going to go ahead and unfold them. Now if you're using tissue paper with a pattern on it, um, you want to make sure that you put um, the pattern side down. Now these can hold um, a small goodie. Um, the dimensions of the tree kind of depend on the width versus the height, so um, you'll just have to experiment a bit, but it has to be something fairly small in size. I'm going to layer the two of these on top of one another, another to actually create the favor, and what you want to do, um, here's what they look like when they're lined up, and what you want to do is you want to turn them so they fall in between the petals of the bottom layer, just like that. Okay. I'm going to use one of our little small tins here in the center of this. And what I'm going to do to wrap this is I'm going to pull up the opposing sides like this 
and then pull up the other two sides, making sure the tin kind of stays flat in there. So there I've got all four of my sides pulled up. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of just gather kind of sinking out as you go. So now I'm going to just take a bit of ribbon here. Going to wrap it around the gathered tissue. And I'm going to pull it tight. I'm going to try to make sure that the gathering is kind of in the middle of the tin, just like that. And you totally, obviously, don't even need to put a tin in here. It could be like um, some gear, stacked Ghirardelli squares or. Um, anything really. That's the good thing about these is they can be adaptable to whatever you want to put inside. They don't have to be a certain shape for it to work. So I'm just going to finish this off with a little bow. Like that. And then I'm going to fluff out petals of the tissue paper. And as you can see, I have a quick and easy favor all complete for just a few pennies and I can add a decorative tag um, to finish it off.